Midnight falls at the Batu Caves in Malaysia. Thousands begin their ascent to the cave's temple, bringing offerings to Lord Murugan, the Hindu deity of virtue and power. One of the biggest Indian festivals in Malaysia, Taipusam thrives as a commercial as well as religious celebration. With the exuberance of an eastern Mardi Gras, vendors hawk food, trinkets and Taipusam pop amidst the more austere in worship. As day breaks, the time comes for Mani Arasu to join the procession. He wears his kavadi, a metal frame signifying his special offering to Lord Murugan. Concentrating intently on Lord Murugan's image, Mani Arasu enters a trance almost effortlessly. According to legend, the goddess Shakti gave Murugan a spear to vanquish evil demons. Representing the spear, the veil penetrates Mani Arasu's tongue with no bleeding or pain. Offerings at Taipusam take on different forms. Many carry milk pots, while others hoist traditional wooden kavadis over their shoulders. Several hundred thousand devotees travel to the Batu Caves for Taipusam. The festival originated with 19th century Indian immigrants who came to the then British ruled Malaysia. Mani Arasu walks 272 steps up to the caves. His pilgrimage nears its end. Within the Batu Caves lies the century old temple to Lord Murugan. Here, devotees remove their kavadis and receive the holy ash, which snaps them out of their trance and ends their penance. Taipusam will go on long into the night, as many others, like Maniarsu, fulfill their vows of devotion once again to Lord Murugan. <laughs> 